talk to you about a very important decision you're all going to have to make. Now, I know I haven't been the best role model, but, you know, I had an epiphany when I, I you know, I kind of ran into a mental wall almost, and I thought I could be a role model. So we're going to talk about a very important decision you're all going to have to make. The decision of abstinence. <laughs> That's alright guys, I know I know at your age a lot of you are thinking all the older kids are probably going all the way, but, <laughs> good for you, but Yoko and I have been in a committed relationship for a few years and we've decided to wait till that special day. That's right Kamino. We have a happy, healthy relationship, and we don't need to resort to intercourse to prove that. So, just for a second, <laughs> let me tell you a story about my younger brother, Simone. Now, Simone was just like another kid, just like you and I. He was an A-star student, he was the leader of the Grunelaga Brigade, and he was an upcoming hero, once I'm out of the picture. <laughs> but one day, him and his girlfriend of two years, decided to go all the way. He figured, what's the worst that could happen? He thought they were sharing something special, but what she was sharing with him was syphilis. He, he got syphilis. And then she got pregnant. And because she smoked cigarettes while she was pregnant, the baby came out retarded. Soon, the happy couple broke up. Simone had to drop out of the Grunelagen Brigade and take two jobs just for the child support payments and the medical pills. But it didn't end there. Oh no. One day, while Leron was babysitting for Simone, the baby burned down the house. Because it was retarded! <laughs> Leron and nephew my nephew, died at that place. And the guilt from that, along with the advanced stages of syphilis, put such an enormous amount of pressure on Simone's frontal lobe that it drove him insane. And today, Simone is institutionalized and sits all day in a padded cell, eating his own feces and regretting that one time he had sex. <laughs> Quiet, please. Everyone? This is a venereal disease! <laughs> well, we would like to thank you all for attending our seminar. We hope you learned something. Now, guys, we're going to be at the door waiting for all of you. We're going to be handing out your V-cards. Alright? I want you to believe in me. The me that believes in you. And no matter what happens, don't let anyone take your V-card from you. They're also good for 10% off anything in the dealer's room. So guys, bro, bro. Thank you all very much.